Hey guitar enthusiasts, I'm gonna be teaching you Closer to Fine by the Indigo Girls today. It has an amazing intro, but there is this really cool D chord trick I wanna show you, and there's a specific timing to it, so let's get into it. So before we get started, let's start off with our capo. We do need a capo at the second fret for this song, so I'm gonna throw that on there at the second fret, and all of these chords will be relative to the capo. They will also sound much brighter. We're gonna be using a lot of my stuck like glue chords, okay? Those are the ones where the third and fourth finger are at the third fret of the B and E string, okay? So you're gonna be holding the fingers there when you're playing this intro. So the chords are G, we've got C at nine, we have A7 sus four and D sus four, okay? Those are the four stuck like glue chords. G, C at nine, a7 sus4, D sus4. We also have a regular D chord that's gonna come in as well as a D sus2 on our intro. We also have a regular C chord that's gonna pop in. We have this fancy D chord, it's called a D major 11. Don't worry about it, it's just a fancy D chord. And if you know a C chord, guess what? Boop, just slide it up two frets. So I'm gonna be on the fifth, fourth, and third frets. And we're gonna just be sliding back and forth and you're gonna hear that string noise. It's okay, it's totally normal. So you're just gonna be going from C, D major 11. C, D major 11. It's a funky sounding chord, but it's an easy chord to play if you know the C chord. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to play through this intro so that you guys can see. I'm gonna do it at full speed and then I'm gonna break it down step by step for you. So here's what we're gonna be learning to play. All right, so you can see it's a peppy song and there's a lot of movement, all right? This song is definitely a little bit more in the intermediate realm, but we're gonna break it down step by step. Let's start with the foundation rhythm, okay? We're gonna start with that G chord and it's gonna be a bass down. So instead of just doing two down strums, instead of going we're kind of catching the bass notes of that G chord. It's gonna be like, if you can get the one string or one or top two strings, So it's bass, down, up, down, up. So it's one, two, and four, and one, two, and four, and. And you're gonna do the same thing on that A7 sus4. You're just gonna move that first finger. And then we're gonna do the same thing on the C add nine chord, except on that last up strum, we're gonna play a D sus4. All right, so let me play the three chords so that you can hear what it's gonna sound like. So we got bass, down, up, down, up, bass, down, up, down, up, bass, down, up, down, up. Okay, that last up, let's just do that C chord. So it's bass, down, up, down, up. One more time. Okay, so that last up on the C add nine chord is gonna be a D sus four. And this is where we start doing all those funky things with the D chord. Let's go over it step by step. So starting from that D sus four, that up, we're gonna do another up, except we're going to a D chord. Then we're gonna do another up, we're going to D sus two. Another up, stay on D sus two. Then we're doing a down strum D, and then an up strum D sus four. So it's up, 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 down, up. And now more with the timing. So if I put it all together and play it slow, it's gonna sound like this. So if you need to pause the video to rewind this and practice it over and over again, feel free to do that. If you need to see the strumming pattern, if it's helpful, all my notes are on my website, laurenbaby.com. I do have the strumming pattern written out there for you so that you can practice along 
and play along with my notes. And for those of you who don't know me, my name is Lauren Bateman and I help make the guitar make sense. I love breaking really difficult things down step by step into little bits and pieces that you guys can put back together to play the songs that you know and love just like this. Now the great thing about that intro is once you know that, you've already played half of the verses because the verses start off the same exact way, same strumming pattern. I'm trying to tell you something about my life Maybe give you insight between black and white So now, this is where that fancy D chord comes in where we're sliding to the C chord. We're going to change the strumming pattern, okay? So we have a different strumming pattern. There's a lot of improvisation going on here. So I don't hear this strumming pattern the entire time. There's some openness. This is going to be a foundation. You can play with it as much or as little as you want to. The strumming pattern we're going to use is down, down, up, up, down. We're going to do two measures of the D chord, two measures of C, two measures of D, two measures of C, and then it jumps right back into the intro. So it's going to sound like this. girls they're not just straightforward people we're gonna jump into a second verse but this verse ends a little bit differently than our first verse there's gonna be a mute there's gonna be a timing pause that comes in and very quickly we're gonna be going from a C add 9 chord to the G chord so it's gonna be one two and then we're gonna mute the guitar and this comes off of a G chord okay so we're gonna do a full measure of the G chord and then C, D, little pause, all right? Let me play through the second verse so that you guys can hear how it sounds. Ready? So we got, Well, darkness has a hunger that's insatiable. And this has a call that's hard to hear. Well, I wrap myself around me like a blanket. Wrong lyrics. I sail the ship of safety till I sink. Okay, so you can hear that mute, and I'm glad we're going over that now because in this next chorus section, where that mute's gonna pop up as well as a different mute and a different strumming pattern. Okay, we're getting into intermediate level songs here. We're not just playing the same strumming pattern anymore beginning to end. We gotta mix things up, and that's what's so great about this song. There's so many different dynamics. Um, there's a lot for you to learn here, strumming-wise and rhythmically. Let me play through the chorus, and then I'm gonna go back and tell you what the different strumming patterns are that I'm doing. I went to the So you can see we had that first pause that we did in the verse that happened and then there was a different pause after this D major 11 chord we were doing our strumming pattern and that's a very aggressive one and two down up down and the less I seek my source for some definitive and it goes along with the, the lyrics definitive it's definitive Okay, down, up, down, and then it goes right back into that intro strum, but we're singing closer to fine. And, and this song is also difficult from the intricacy of trying to sing and play this strumming pattern at the same time. You really have to have the strumming pattern down and memorized, and you should be able to walk around the room and play this strumming pattern at the same time to really be able to sing and play the song at the same time. So what I wanna do now is I wanna do a full intro, the first two verses in the chorus, because once you can play through that, you can play through the entire song. I'm gonna do it a little bit more at full speed, so if you need to use the settings clog to slow me down, go right ahead and do that. One, two, here we go.
the best thing you've ever done for me Cause I help me take my life this seriously It's only life after all Yeah Well, darkness has a hunger that's insatiable And lightness has a fall out here And I wrap my fear around me like a blanket Sail my ship of safety Closer I am to I hope you guys enjoyed all this strumming in the song. If you're interested in learning more intricate strumming patterns using the same stuck like glue chords, then I highly recommend you check out my Wonderwall video right over there. We're gonna be learning a super fun strumming pattern. I'm gonna go through it step by step. See you in that lesson.